God bless you guys. God bless you. Come on in. Come on in. Swipe and share. God bless you. I am Prophetess Kimberly Moses. I want to welcome you guys. Thank you for joining. I'm on Facebook Live, on my Prophetess page, and also on Periscope. You know, we are going to continue our teaching. Um, becoming a better you. It looked like my Periscope froze. So I'm going to give that a second, you guys, on, on Facebook Live. Yeah, it looked like this thing froze on uh, Periscope. So I don't know how we want to do both. But anywho, let's see if I can, uh, you know, this thing is freezing on me, babe. Y'all give me a second on Facebook. I know it takes a while. I don't know how I'm going to do this, babe. The whole thing froze. No, it used to do that all the time on this tablet. Y'all give me a second on Facebook. I just got to reset it. Okay. Y'all yeah, yeah, here. Okay. Am I on Periscope? Am I good? Let me know if I'm good on Periscope. All right. Thank you for joining. Am I still there? Because I, I was getting ready to reset it. Any, anywho, you guys, thank you for joining me this uh, afternoon. Amen. This morning. Thank you. Thank you. Hallelujah. Come on in. Come on in. Swipe, share, hop me up. You know, we're going to continue our teachings, Becoming a Better You. The the Lord gave me this teaching, um, and I've been sitting on this teaching for about two months. Recently, I stepped out and started talking about this teaching. A lot of people have came back, and they testified, and they told me how much they've been blessed by this teaching. Uh, babe, am I froze on Periscope? Okay, let me, let me just, I'm going to just get off. Hold on, give me a second, you guys, on Facebook. I'm going to get this together, you know, because I got to pray for some sick people today. Amen. Give me, give me, give me a few seconds, you guys. Yes, y'all go ahead and, uh, you know, uh, just get ready to receive. Okay, yeah, I'm good on Facebook. I don't lost Periscope. I, I'm frozen on the screen, so I'm like, ah. So yeah, I'm just trying to reset this. Yeah, I'm, I'm frozen on here. All right, so how you, how you guys doing? Heart me up and let me know where you're from. Where, where's everybody from? Where's everybody from? Let me know. Amen. Good. Are right, you from Florida? Florida's in the house. Amen. Florida got another Florida in the house. Amen. So this is what we're going to do today. I'm going to... Um, you know, I'm going to take a lot of prayer requests. Amen. I'm going to take my time. You know, I, I can spend a few hours with you guys. Uh, you know, today, I don't got to leave until, I think, maybe 1 o'clock to go get my kids. So, you know, I'm going to take my time. I'm going to teach. I'm going to pray. You know, I'm going to prophesy. Every person on here that's sick, I decree and declare as a prophet of the Most High God, you will be healed today. I don't care what it is. I don't care what infirmity it is. I don't care. You know, I'm going to believe God today for your healing in your body. All right. So let me just try to connect again to Periscope and then I can go forth. Like, oh, okay. DC in the house. Woo! All right. Hollywood's in the house. Amen. God is awesome. Oh, Hollywood, Florida. My bad. <laughs> All right. All right. Allergies. So I'm going to go ahead and pray for your allergies right now. Really, something went wrong. It's still, still there. Can y'all, can y'all see me? All right. Oh, uh, Tennessee, am I still going, babe? Oh, okay. That's the way it's supposed to be. All right. Good morning. Good morning. Yeah, I need to get my life together. All right. So the person that had allergies, Tamikia Washington, lift your hands up right now. I'm gonna pray for you. You're healing right now while I'm connecting on Periscope. So, Father God, in the name of Jesus. I curse allergies at the root in Jesus' name. Anybody else on here that has problem with their allergies, you know, uh, uh, I'm going to pray for you to be healed in Jesus' name. Amen. And I send forth the fire, God, right now, and I command those nasal passages to clear right now in Jesus' name. Amen. And I send forth the fire, God, and I start to feel the anointing coming really, really strong. Let me just put this on here take two. What do you feel on you, Tamikia? Let me know. Do you feel warmth or anything? 
And I actually feel like, I feel like little fire, like coming up my nostrils. Like, I don't know if you are able to breathe clearly. And I feel like some tingling in my ears for you. What, what do you feel, woman of God? Give me feedback and I'm about to move on. How you doing, Tracy Washington? Thank you so much. The Holy Spirit is resting on your head. Hallelujah. Her nasal is clearing up. Look at God. Look at God. Hallelujah. So I'm back on Periscope. I just want to welcome everybody. Forgive me. Um, my connection is not as stable. But if you get disconnected at any time, you can join me on my Facebook page, Prophetess Kimberly Moses. And we're going to go forth. While you were away, the Lord just uh, opened up somebody's nasal passages. They were having... Um, some allergies and God just demonstrated his power so I'm excited so yesterday as I was praying the Lord told me to come on here and pray for some sick people because he says there's a lot of sick people that need to be healed so I'm gonna step out on faith and I'm gonna believe God for your total healing today we're gonna do this teaching really really quickly and I'm just gonna flow as the Holy Spirit leads me so if you're sick go ahead and put your symptoms up you're gonna get healed today in Jesus name the person on periscope they say have chronic pain your name is Rena Martinez lay hands on your body the area that's, that's, that needs healing, and I send forth the fire of God upon you now in Jesus' name. And I command the pain to leave out of your body in Jesus' name. I don't know if that was your knees that was hurting, but I, I, I command that pain to break in Jesus' name. If that's your heart that needs healing, um, I, I speak healing over your hearts in Jesus' name. I curse the seizures that your son is having at the root in Jesus' name. Uh, I pray for Kina. I, I curse muscular Scar scarosis at the root in Jesus name. I, I, I curse panic attacks at the root in Jesus name. Amen. So what, whatever you decide to do, because, you know, God is here. He's the, the his presence is manifesting. Um, amen. And I'm, I'm just stepping out on faith. He told me to come on here, and pray for some sick. Amen. And that's exactly what we're going to do. But I'm going to also give you some words. And at the end, I'm going to take my time and, you know, prophesy to some people on here as much as people I can. Amen. Uh, I curse fear at the root in Jesus' name. The Lord healed me of anxiety. I had anxiety for five years. And I'm set free by the power of God. I curse acid reflux at the root. I had, I had acid reflux, you know, for multiple years, maybe like three to four years. I am set free in Jesus' name. I can eat my pasta. I can drink my orange juice. Amen. Uh, I command that baby with the holes in the heart to close right now. I curse what the doctors have said at the root. We come into agreement with the Lord's report. Amen. All right. And I command your sinuses to clear up in Jesus' name. Somebody on here, I'm trying to teach, but the Holy Spirit wants to demonstrate his healing power today. So that's what we're going to do. Amen. We're just going to let him have his way. Somebody on here, you have tension right here. Something right here on the right side of your neck is hurting you. Amen. I sent forth the fire, God. I command your neck to be healed. As I said that, I'm starting to feel, oh my God, the, the warmth. Amen. The fire, God, on your neck. I don't know who you are on here, but you're going to be healed in Jesus' name. Amen. Uh, yes. Lay hands on your body right now. Somebody on here. I feel a sharp, sharp is a sharp stabbing pain. My left lower back. My left lower back. Amen. I don't know who you are, but God wants to heal you right now. In Jesus' name, I sent forth the fire. God is it's like sharp right now. It's like somebody sticking a dagger in the left lower side of my back. God wants to heal you right now. In Jesus' name, that's you. Somebody says, "Are you sure, uh, Sherry?" Somebody on here, you have left knee pain. I feel the fire God in that left knee. God wants to heal that left knee. Amen. Lay hands on your body and give me feedback and let me know if you're getting healed right now. Amen. You know, somebody on here, your elbows. You hurt your elbows. God wants to heal your uh, elbows right now. The pain has to leave in Jesus' name. We command it so. I curse endometriitis at the root in Jesus' name. Be healed in Jesus' name. I speak to that wound to be healthy. How you doing, prophetess melodies in the house? Amen. I pray for any condition that the doctor said you had. We renounce that in Jesus' name. We renounce that in Jesus' name. Just lay hands on an area that you need healing. And, and, and matter of fact, if you're sick, get up and just activate your faith and just walk around. And I, I command you to be healed in Jesus' name. Amen. You was a pleasure. Oh, yeah, you came to the School of Prophets. Yes, it's, it's a pleasure meeting you, too. Hey, I, I remember you. God bless you. Amen. Hallelujah. So your neck and your back are better. Look at God. He just healed somebody on Periscope. Somebody said their neck, their neck and their back 
is uh, better. And the person that said you have tender, tendinitis in your elbow, you claim it. Amen. Let me know what you feel. Let me know what you feel. Amen. Let me know what you feel in that elbow. Amen. And uh, I feel the fire God in this left elbow. All right. You feel burning in your heart and it hurts so bad. Amen. Uh, I command any issues with your heart to leave in Jesus name. Amen. So Holly, let's put your symptoms up here and I'm going to let God have his way. I break depression off of you in Jesus name. Depression don't, uh, can't stay. Somebody watching me. I'm starting to feel sharp ear pain on the right. Who are you? Amen. Yes. I, I, I want to teach. But I got to let the Lord have his way. So I had to stay and just flow as he's leading me. Who's right here? Sore throat. I command your sore throat to be healed and that runny nose to stop in Jesus' name. I send forth the fire God upon you. Amen. Somebody else in here, you're feeling really dizzy. I don't know who you are. Right ear. Something in your right ear. I, I break that at the root. I curse it at the root. Amen. So I'm on Facebook Live and I'm also on Periscope. Amen. So let's let's just get into this. So God, we just thank you, God, that you're here. We thank you, God, that you have your way, God. Lord God, I thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah for your presence, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, amen, amen. Um, look at God. Woo! I got a testimony on Facebook Live. Somebody said that the pain in their neck and their left knee is gone. That's God. We just, we just lift up hands today, amen, that we serve a true living God. That's here. Amen. A true living God that wants to touch his people. True, true living God that's concerned about what you're going through. That is God. Amen. We just thank God for what he's doing today and what he's going to do. Amen. Not only in my life, but in everybody's life on here. Amen. Somebody give God praise. Somebody give God praise that you are alive today. Somebody give God praise. Amen. That you didn't die or that you're not six feet under. Somebody give God praise. Amen. Come on, people of God. I need somebody to put a demand on the anointing. Who else on here needs healing before I move on to this teaching? Anybody else here needs to be healed from something? I don't care what it is. Amen. Put it up here. I curse diabetes at the root in Jesus' name. I curse it at the root. Amen. I curse HIV, AIDS, cancer at the root in Jesus' name. The lame, I decree the lame shall walk. The blind shall see. The deaf shall hear. Come on, somebody. Amen. I curse glaucoma at the root. I curse it. And I speak to your eyesight. And I command it to be normal and function normally in the name of Jesus. I curse right now attacks on your mind in Jesus' name. Knee pain, I curse it at the root. Skin uh, cirrhosis, I curse it at the root in Jesus' name. I break a nicotine addiction off of you in Jesus' name. Amen. You got pain in your head? Lay hands on your head. Amen. I command that pain to break in Jesus' name. By Jesus' stripes, every person on here that's sick, you will be healed in Jesus' name. Amen. Satan, the Lord rebukes you. I claim these people for the for, for Jesus Christ. You are a trespasser. Amen. Somebody speak to that sickness and say, you are a trespasser. You are a trespasser. Amen. We come into the uh, 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 agreement with the word of God. Amen. Come on now. By his stripes, you are healed. Amen. God says, if I pray a prayer of faith, it can make the sick well. Amen. Come on, people of God. Hallelujah. So, Lord God, we just thank you, Father. God, send forth more fire right now in your glory upon these people today. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. Hallelujah, Jesus. And I'm starting to feel, uh, you know, I'm starting to get uh, impressions in my body of what the people are feeling. I still feel pain right here on my right side. I break that off of you. I still feel stuffiness like somebody's really stuffy. I break that off of you in Jesus' name. Fibroids. I curse fibroids at the root. I got testimonies where I pray for people with fibroids. And I command the fibroids in your body to dissolve in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. They went to the doctor and they, they got significantly smaller. Or they went to the doctor they couldn't find it. Amen. That's God. Amen. I, I give God praise. Hallelujah. Amen. Walk, walk in your healing today. Jesus, my God. Lord, I re release an anointing. Right now, people lift hands right now. I'm going to pray for impartation for the healing anointing. And your hands gonna, Some of your hands going to get hot. Lord, I send forth the fire, God. I command right now the healing anointing to come up in the people of God's life. That they'll be able to go ahead out there and lay hands on the sick and they shall recover. Receive it in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Come on. Receive that in Jesus' name. 
Glory to God. So we're going to have fun today. We're just going to flow with the Holy Spirit. Amen. I'm here today to demonstrate the kingdom, demonstrate the power of God. And I want to stir something up inside of you and invoke something inside of you to walk in what God is calling you to walk in. Amen. So the Lord gave me a series. It's called Becoming a Better You. Becoming a Better You. Amen. This is part three. Part three. All right. So number one, we talked about before, I told you to be kingdom focused. Amen. We need to focus on the kingdom because when you're focused on the kingdom of God or when you when you have a kingdom mindset, you're not caught up in gossip, slander, all kind of foolishness. And you're not worried about what God is doing in somebody else's ministry. Amen. You're about God's business. All right. Then number two, what we talked about last week was taking the steps to grow spiritually. Aren't you tired of being stuck in the same place? Amen. A lot of you guys, you're looking at your age like, man, I'm in my 50s. I'm in my 40s, whatever. I'm in my late 30s. And man, I should have been here a long time ago. I should have, you know, been been a more on fire. should have been more in, uh, along in my walk with God. All right, so we talked about that last time. Today, we're going to talk about writing down the goals and making steps to achieve them. Writing down the goals and making steps to achieve them. Why, why should we write it down? I could, I could tell you so many things. You know, when you don't write something down in the heat of the moment, when you don't write something down, you're going to miss what God is saying. Because guess what? The enemy wants to come and snatch that up. I said the enemy wants to come and snatch that up. How do I know? Because guess what? I, I, I only practice, only preach what I live, only preach what I practice. Amen. All right. So the Lord speak to me all the time about books, ideas, projects, you know, making moves. And guess what I do? I write it down. Either I put something in my note, in my note. I got note apps in my phone, like five of them. I put them in my notes, uh, right? You know, composition books. I write it down. I got papers every which you wear. Amen. You know, with little things. I'm like, okay, you know, that's, a, that's, that's my next book, God. Oh my God. That's, that's the prophetic word of the Lord. I can go back and meditate on this. Oh my God. This, this idea is going to generate wealth in my life. This idea, you know, it's going to literally set the captives free. So we're going to talk about becoming a better you. And I spent time, you know, when I first launched this thing, talking about what better mean. It means to advance, to achieve, amen, to heighten something in your life. That you don't be the same Kimberly that you used to be, the same Coretta, the same Tron, the same Dominique, the same Misha. Come on, somebody. Amen. That you become better. Amen. We should be going faith to faith, to glory to glory. We should be growing. Amen. Forget about the milk. Some of y'all on spiritual breast milk. I, I need some people right now to eat the meat of the word. Jesus, I start to feel the fire. Really, really sure my whole face is on fire. All right. So let's talk about this prophet named Habakkuk right quick. You know, he was crying out for injustice like God. You know, all this stuff in the land is just vexing me. I, I, I'm not happy with this. And, you know, he waited. He had a vision in chapter 2, Habakkuk chapter 2. And he waited for what the Lord was going to say to him. And what did God tell him? In chapter 2, verse, uh, verses 2 and 3, he says, write down the vision. Write the vision down. Make it plain. Amen. You know, write it down. Write what God is saying to you. Write the ideas that you are receiving. Come on, people of God. Amen. Write it down. I'm going to keep saying it uh, over and over again on this broadcast. Write it down. Amen. Make it clean. Make it clearly. Write it down. All right, listen, though the vision waits, it may seem like it's taking a long time for some things to come to pass. You know, wait for it. Wait for it because it's going to surely come to pass. Amen. It's going to surely come to pass. So we're talking about writing it down. So I'm asking you um, guys today, what has God spoken to you? What do you feel in your heart? Amen. Listen, some of you guys are so zealous. I want to do this. I want to do that. I want to do this. Write those ideas down. Because most of the time, 99% of the time, it originates from him, God. It doesn't come from you. Amen? When you have a desire to go out and pull people out of wheelchairs, most likely that ain't your flesh. Amen? That's the Holy Spirit within inside of you. When you have a vision to go out there and pray for the sick or go feed the homeless, that's coming from him. Write this stuff down. Amen? Write down your vision plans. Come on, your business plans. Write it down. Write when you want to be married. You know, write down uh, by the year and the day. I dare, I double dare you. Amen. To write it down by a certain day. Put a date on that. Amen. By, you know, 2018, I'm going to be engaged. I'm speaking for somebody because this is what I did. 
you know, uh, I, I want to be married. I want to have my own house. I want to own my house. I want to own my car. I don't want no car note. Write it down. Come on now. Oh, my Jesus. My God. Maybe I'm preaching to myself today on here. Maybe I'm preaching to myself today on here. Write it down. All right. So, James 1 and 22, it tells us, come on now. You know, be doers of the word. Do something. When you write it down, you got to make steps to achieve it. Writing down is just not enough to write it down. Do something to achieve it. Amen. James 1, 22 says, be doers of the word. Not hearers only. You know, deceiving yourself. Do something. What have you done with the prophecies that God has given you? What have you done with the vision that God has given you? You know, it, it's, it's not enough to get a title for a book and just let that title sit there and not write the book. Come on now. It's not enough to get a word about business and sit there and let that word sit on the shelf about the business. Do something about it. Amen. It's not enough to, to get a word about a new car and don't go to the car lot and lay hands to get that car by faith. Amen. It's not enough. Come on now. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm preaching. I'm preaching to myself today on this thing. Amen. Hallelujah. Right, do something. Amen. I always tell people I did a whole series on this. Activate your faith. Activate your faith. Amen. Go out and buy baby clothes. You believe in for a baby. Amen. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. Uh, you know, I'm preaching to my, I'm preaching to myself on this two saints. Whew, Jesus. All right. So that's right. Faith without works is dead. So let's get into this. Let's take action. So we're talking about writing it down and make steps, making steps. Amen. To achieve it. Amen. To achieve this thing. You know, faith without works is dead. James 2, 17, you know? All right. So listen, peep this out. Do your part. God will do his part. Uh-oh. My God. Some of you guys, well, maybe I'm preaching to myself, have you ever been in a place where you've done all you can physically do? Now you got to wait on God. Uh-oh. People don't like waiting. People don't like long suffering. People don't have no patience no more. My God. Do your part and watch God. I'm, I'm, I'm preaching to myself today. My God. Do your part and watch God. My God. You know, go ahead and put the applications in. Go ahead and, you know, do what you need to do to get those credentials, whatever you believe in God for. Amen. Do your part and watch God. Watch God promote you. Watch God elevate you. Watch God favor you. I'm preaching to somebody on this thing today. Hallelujah. So Proverbs 16 and 9. Amen. The word of God tells us the, the heart of the man plans his ways. The heart of the man plans his ways. But it is the Lord who establishes steps. What does that mean? You know, you may have all these dreams and all these aspirations and, you know, hope inside of you. But it's God when we're submitted to God. Amen. He will establish your steps. Some people right now, you need God to establish you. I need right now, listen to me. I decree and declare as a prophet of the most high God. God will establish your steps. God will establish your steps. And where you fell before, get ready for success. Yeah. Try again and God will make it happen for you. This ain't the time to quit. So what? I came on here last time and I gave a word. You know, it was like the other night and the Lord says, tell my people, don't let adversity stop you. Don't allow adversity to stop you. Amen. Psalms 115, 11. He gave me that scripture. Amen. I just released that word like maybe two or three days ago. Do not allow adversity to stop you. What does that mean? Guess what? When trouble comes, are you going to just quit, quit and give up? Throw your hands up. Oh, God, I can't do this no more. I quit. Nah. You better look that, that, that adversity in the face. Amen. Like I said, you know, Coretta can testify. She was on, she was with me, went to the glory gathering cruise. It was so much a warfare, but you know what? I looked it in the face. I said, nope. You know, Satan, you will not stop this meeting. You will not stop this movement. Amen. You will not stop what God is doing. And guess what? God moved. People got healed. People got what they, they came for to receive. Amen. Come on. Hallelujah. So you got to look adversity in the face. You, you can't stop. Listen, this is how I look at it. When the devil's messing with me and he's trying to come attack me, trying to get me discouraged or trying to mess with things, my family, my finances, my, my like products or you know, physical things like my car, just things. I laugh. I laugh. I laugh at him through the Holy Spirit. And I begin to give God praise. I begin to praise God. I'm like, okay, God. Oh, Jesus. This hurt. 
you know, I'm mad, I'm frustrated, but I, I'm not going to stop. Amen. I'm not going to stop. Listen, when my car, uh, you know, I was staying in Colorado and it seemed like my car was dying every week. Every week I had to get somebody to come jump my car. And I just said, the, I think like the third or fourth time it happened, I just said, whatever. I began to walk to church. And on my way to walking to church, you know, I saw somebody and they gave me a ride. Amen. They gave me a ride. So I didn't let that stop me. I didn't let that stop me from doing my job because I was called. I was mandated. My God, to be at that altar every Sunday, praying for people, prophesying at that altar. I didn't let the devil stop me from getting to church to do my job, to do my assignment in that season. You know, don't let the devil stop you. Don't let the devil uh, block what God wants to do in your life. See, when adversity comes, I know God is going to do something great. I, I know God is going to do something. Amen. So I'm like, okay, God, I accept this thing. Amen. So that tells me I need to pick up my prayer life. Step it up a notch. Amen. Step up my fasting a notch. Amen. Step up my worship a notch. Amen. Because I'm not backing down. Amen. Somebody get, I, I feel bonus coming. I feel bonus. Somebody tell the enemy, either you move out the way, I'm going to come right through you. Amen. Say you move out my way, I'm coming right through you in Jesus' name. Because guess what? Through God, I can push back my adversaries. Amen. Through God, I can push back my adversaries. I, I, I'm not going to quit. Hey, man, you got to know who your God is. All right, so we're, we're talking about becoming a better you. This ain't time to be weak. Come on now, this ain't the time to be faithless. This is the time to have some faith. This is the time to say, okay, God, I, I know what you spoke to me. I know that I'm mandated by you. I know that I'm called by you. I know that I'm your anointed. I know that I'm your child. I, I'm going to, you know, press in, amen. I'm going to get everything that you've spoken to me. I may cry sometimes. I may lose some friends. Amen. You know, I may be talked about. I may be ridiculed. I may be persecuted. Oh, God. I may even be despised because I'm walking in, you know, the calling in that anointing. But I'm going to keep on pressing. Amen. I'm going to fight this good fight of faith. Amen. I'm going to fight for my family. I'm going to fight, you know, and make war with my prophecies. Amen. I'm, I'm going to fight. Come on, people of God. Amen. I'm not going to allow the devil to steal, kill, and destroy me and rob what belongs to me. Amen. I know I'm preaching to somebody on this thing today. Come on now. Jesus, somebody on here. Who are you? Right here. Something in your neck. It's a gland right here in the right side of your neck. It's been bothering you. It's a gland right here in the right, right here inside of your neck. It's pain. It's been bothering you. Amen. I sent forth the fire of God upon you right now. Be healed in Jesus' name. Be healed in Jesus. It's, it's, it's really sore. That's you, Tracy Dixon. I don't know what's wrong right now with the, this right here on the side of your neck. It's like a gland right now. But I sent forth the fire of God right now. I command you to be healed in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. As a matter of fact, it, it goes from your gland, sometimes up to your ear. Like right here to your ear. I feel it. And it's like... And, and I don't know, it's connected. Somehow it's connected. I feel it. And I sent forth the fire God right now in Jesus' name. And that's you to, to uh, forgive me, I'm missing your name up, Miss Burden. Amen. How you doing, Sade? Hi. What do you feel right now? What do you feel? On this, somebody on Facebook Live is getting killed by the power of God right now. Mm -hmm. Amen for those on Periscope. Well, let me know what you feel, Tracy Dixon. Let me know what you feel. And you also been having headaches as well. I don't know you, but you also been having headaches. And I break the cycle of headaches off of you in Jesus' name. Jesus, my God. Hallelujah. Don't feel nothing. You don't feel nothing. Is the pain gone? Do you feel do you feel the pain? Let me know if you feel that pain. Let me know if the pain's gone. Amen. So I can move on. The pain is gone. Amen. Y'all give God praise. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So let's get back into this word. God, we just thank you. Isn't God awesome? Isn't the Lord awesome? No pain. Come on. No pain. Look at God. Come on, God. Yes, God is good. All right. So let's, let's, we, we want God to establish our steps. Amen. Come on now. I always tell God, God, if you're not in this, I don't want to do it. Amen. If I don't feel God with me, you know, if I don't feel the fire of God, I'm not going to get on social media. I'm, a, I'm not going to try to pray for nobody. I'm not going to try to prophesy to nobody. Amen. I need to know that I'm bringing the glory with me. I need to know that I'm bringing God with me. Amen. 
We need God to establish our businesses, to establish our marriages, our relationships, our, our, our finances. Come on, people of God. You know, our plans, the desires in our heart. Come on now. Amen. Somebody, Nick, Nick Moreau, you said it's gone. You got healed too. What you get healed from? Nick Moreau, let me know. Let me know what you just got healed from, Nick Moreau. Amen. Hallelujah. All right, so let's look at the ant. You know, the parable of the ant. Proverbs uh, chapter 6, verses 6 through 8. Let's talk about this. Let's talk about this right now. Amen. And if you don't worry, I'm, I'm going to take prayer requests. And then I'm going to take my time. Amen. You know, I got, you know, I don't have to leave until like 1.30, I think. So, you know, I'll stay on here and just, you know, just minister to you guys on here today. All right. So it tells us, go to the ant. Go to the ant. Amen. Watch the ant. Watch the ant. Look at the ant. You know how you look at the ant? They're always busy doing something. Like, man, they, they stick together. All right. And it says, that slugger, that lazy person, look. You know, you, you can't be lazy. You can't be, you know, just idle in the season, not doing anything. Oh, Jesus. You know, it says, consider her ways. Consider her ways. Be wise. Be wise. Come on out. Listen, this is the thing about the ant. The ant has no guide, it has no overseer, it has no, you know, ruler, it has no commander or leader. Amen? Mm -hmm. But they store up, they store up, they store up their food in the summer and gather their harvest. What am I saying? Consider the ant, be wise. Look, what, look at the ant's doing. Amen? What are you doing? What, what, the things God has spoken to you. What are you doing? Jesus. You know, write down the vision. Write it down and take steps towards it. The ant gathers its harvest. The ant is always reaping what they have sown. It's time for us to reap what we have sown. Come on, people of God. Amen. Are you tired of just not reaping? Come on, you, you sow, you sow, you sow, but you're not reaping a harvest. Are you sow, you sow, you sow, and it's like, okay, I'm not seeing anything. Come on now. L look at the ant. Come on now. It's, it's telling a lazy person, a person that don't even practice diligence. To look at the ant, consider their ways. Amen. The word of God says the hand of the diligence makes us rich. Amen. You got to work hard. Let me tell you something. You know why I love God so much? Because God can just speak an idea and, and cause that idea to come into fruition. God can give you an idea. And, uh, and when you put your hand to the plow, somebody, amen, and just be faithful. You can look back years later like, man, I, I see why I have to work so hard. I see. You know, I was building from the ground up. I had nothing except the word of God and my faith. And my faith produced something out of nothing except for a word. That's, that's how powerful God is. You know, come on, you, you got to work. You got to make steps to achieve that vision. You got to make steps. Come on now. I, I know God's been speaking to you. A lot of you guys giving you great ideas. Hey, man. But what are you doing? Are you being lazy sitting on the couch? Are you being lazy, watching everybody else succeed, gossiping, talking about somebody else that's making it and doing what you should have been doing, doing what you are procrastinating to do? I know I'm talking about somebody stepping on some toes today. Amen? What are you doing? Come on now. I I'm telling you, people of God, if you don't know how to do it, you need to connect with somebody that's doing it. Yeah. Amen? I talked to somebody today. We did an author interview with Ke uh, Pastor Kevin this morning. And he said, you know, I didn't know how to write a book. God told me I was going to write a book. I didn't know what to do. But then I connected with you and you showed me how to write the book. Come on now. Stop hating on somebody that, that, that's, that God is using or, you know, that they're being blessed in this area that you want to be blessed at. Go connect with them and find out how. Amen. You never know. God will use that person to give you impartation. God will give you uh, wisdom, wisdom, like uh, nuggets of wisdom. You just never know. Hallelujah. Jesus. All right. So, make a plan. I need some people right now to say, I'm going to make a plan. I I'm going to make a plan. Amen. In this season, amen, and even in my next season, I am going to make a plan. You don't want to be that person with no vision. The Word of God tells us where there's no vision, the people perish. Amen. Come on now. You don't want to be that, that person. They don't have, you're trying to lead somebody. It's like the blind leading the blind. You don't want to be that person. Make a plan. What is your plan? 
Thank you for speaking blessings on my life. I receive it. Make a plan. All right. And, and bring the plan before God. And say, God, Lord, I desire more. I may be in transition. I may be out of my comfort zone. God, this don't feel good. Lord, but this is what I desire to do. God, I desire five years from now, amen, to, to have a successful business, to be married, to have kids, or just to have the restoration upon my life. Amen. Come on now. You know, I desire five years from now, amen, to have every prophecy that I have written down to be fulfilled. Come on. Hallelujah. That's right. Make that plan. Amen. God, okay, you told me I was going to do this and that. Okay, God, I don't know what to do, so I, I'm giving you nuggets right now. You know, I don't know what to do, but I'm going to connect with somebody that do, did, does it. I'm going to ask them to help me. I'm going to ask them for some advice. I'm going to do my research. I'm going to get on Google. I'm going to get on YouTube and find out how to do it. Hallelujah. See, I'm preaching to myself. See, nobody never showed me how to market. But I, I said, okay, God, show me how to market. Show me how to, you know, make, make my promotional kit, my media kit. And God showed me, amen. You know, I did my research, and uh, I, I can't even get this testimony yet. I'll just leave that alone. But anywho, make the plan and bring it before God. Bring it before God. Amen? And, and step out in faith. Step out in faith. Okay, God. Lord, I have this desire, God, inside of me, and I know this thing is bigger than me. I can't do it by myself. I need you, God, right? I need you, God. And, and watch him move. Watch him move, my God, Jesus, amen, so that's, that's going to require something of you, so my question to you guys today is, what are you willing to sacrifice, what are you willing, amen, to give up, what are you willing, amen, oh, Jesus, I, I don't think y'all, Jesus, I'm going to say y'all want this word, my baby going to talk about me when I say that, <laughs> I don't think y'all, you know, want to put the steps that's required of you, Amen. Come on now. Are you willing to go back to school? Are you willing to serve? Come on, people. Are you willing to serve? Are you willing to invest in yourself spiritually? Are you willing to invest? You know, maybe go back to school or get some kind of training. Are you willing to start that 501c3 or start whatever God is telling you to do? That organization, that non for profit Are you willing to write that book to put the time in? To put the finances in, to put the work in, to put the prayer in, to put the fasting in. Jesus, what are you willing to do? To whom much is given, much more is required. I said much more is required. It's going to take a sacrifice. And this is one thing I do know about God. He, he honors our sacrifices. Amen. But first he wants some obedience. Amen. Obedience is better than sacrifice. But he does honor our sacrifices. That's what I do know. Amen. Come on, people of God. Amen. So, you know, I'm getting ready to uh, to just go ahead and pray. And I'm going to take some prayer requests. Amen. God, we just give you praise. God, we thank you for the healings that already manifested. We thank you, God, for the deliverance that's taking place right now. God, I thank you that chains are being broken. People are set free. In Jesus' name. But before I begin to pray, you know, I'm here to lift up the name of Jesus. There's some people on here that's not saved. Some people on here that need to rededicate their lives. Because I've seen some people, you ain't living right. You, you're compromising. So this is your opportunity. Amen. I, I'm going to prophesy. But I need to, guess what? Get, uh, offer up salvation. Amen. The word of God tells us in Romans 10, verse 9, that if you believe in that heart, if you confess with your mouth that, you know, God raised Jesus from the dead, you shall be saved. Who believes that on here today? Amen. Who believes that today? Amen. Who wants salvation? If you want, if you want to be saved, just say me. Amen. Somebody just put me up here. And I'm going to shift. I'm going to, um, you know, take prayer requests. And I'm going to take my time. Amen. And I'm going to make sure every person on here that's sick get healed today. Amen. Who, want, who, who wants to uh, know Christ Jesus as Lord and Savior? Anybody on here today? Everybody saved? Amen. I'm going to call it again. Amen. Before I get off of here. Or mommy, babe, to call it again. All right. Amen. All right. So somebody on here, and I'm, I'm going to pray, but I, I just feel these impressions on my body. 
Amen. That's right. The time is now. That's right. Headache all right here. Somebody got a, a frontal lobe headache. It's like right here. Amen. Who are you? You're going to get healed. I break that headache off of you in Jesus' name. Left shoulder pain all right here. I break that off of you in Jesus' name. Amen. I command sinuses to clear in Jesus' name. Now I feel an anointing being released for that healing to manifest now in Jesus' name. Amen. All right, so, yes, I pray for Danielle. God, just have your way, God, in her life, Lord Jesus. Have your way in, and just begin to put your prayer request up, and just you might want to copy and paste it until I see it. I'm going to go from Periscope to Facebook Live, Periscope and Facebook Live. God, I just pray that you draw Danielle nigh to you. Draw her nigh to you. Lord, you said Vicky. Are you saved, Vicky? Amen. And I pray for Christy. In Jesus' name, God, I pray that your will, God, will be done in their lives. And the person that said they um, need emotional healing, just lay hands in your heart. And I just send forth a fire, God, in that heart. And I command you to be healed in Jesus' name. That you, Sharita Adams, with a headache on uh, Facebook Live. I sent forth the fire, God, and I sent forth that anointing. I command that pain to leave in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Let me know if the, uh, I feel that I feel it residing. Actually, let me know, Sharita. Do you feel that headache leaving? I feel it leaving. Let me know. Amen. Hallelujah. All right. So, I pray for clarity in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah, Lord. Let me know what you uh what you feel, Sharita. Yes, uncommon favor with schooling. And just give me a second, y'all. Uh, just, just say amen. Just put a demand on anointing. And uh, intercessors, just begin to pray in the spirit. Amen. Begin to pray in the spirit. And I'm, I'm going to try to go back and forth, back and forth. All right. <clears throat> now, I just pray for uh, Chastity Thomas. Lord God, I pray for unfavor. God, I pray for favor, 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 favor. Lord, favor galore in her schooling, God. Lord God, I pray for wisdom, God. God, I pray right now, Lord God, for the resources that she needs, Lord God. Lord, I just come against every setback, any fears, any limitations uh, that's trying to stop her. Lord God, on this walk in this season, Lord God. Lord God, I, I, I come against the wrong people that's in her life that's trying to speak negativity to her. In the name of Jesus, Lord God, you felt it lift. Amen. Woo! Jesus. Sharita said she had a headache, but she said she felt that lift. Amen. I give God glory. I just give him praise. Amen. I, I command favor uh, in, in her schooling in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah, Lord. And uh, this is the Lord say. Uh, this is for, uh, oh, I forgot your name. Jesus. It just slipped me that fast. Amen. Chastity Thomas. There we go. Chastity Thomas. Amen. <laughs> My mommy cutting off. Amen. But listen. I see in the realm of the spirit, I see like you're, um, you got some people, um, that's trying to connect with you. Amen. Some people that, uh, they're not where they, uh, they don't have your best interest at heart. So don't be surprised where, you know, there's a disconnection. There's a disconnection for some people that don't mean you no good. You're, you're trying to go, uh, here, but they're, they're, they're stagnant. They don't want the things of God. You know, some people around you, they're putting on the front. Amen. They're putting on the front like they love Jesus. They preach with their mouth, but in, in their heart, it's, it's not right. Amen. So God, just pray right now that you just uh, show her, God, who's for her and who's not. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. All right, Periscope. Somebody put it up here, Periscope. Amen. Somebody put uh, your request on Periscope. I'm trying to go back and forth. Amen. Who Jesus. And who, who, who asked this? I, I, I just, it's really hurting right here. It hurts so bad. She, Ch Chastity Thomas says, right, uh, on the right side of their neck, you know, you see that, amen, God bless you, woman of God, amen, I pray for Amanda, I command that spots to clear up on her skin in Jesus' name, Lord God, I just thank you, and the person that said, Amanda, you know, I just, just, uh, lift your right hand, I'm gonna pray for impartation, amen, you go lay hands on your daughter, command that rash to heal, to, and to clear up in Jesus' name, amen, and I send forth that anointing to heal in Jesus' name. And, I and lay hands by faith. Amen. And speak to that. And command it to clear up in Jesus' name. Amen. That's you, Demetrius Richardson. That's you with the tension. That's you, La La Latoya uh, Lewis. You know, so somebody got something right here. I, I break that off of you. It just is really hurting. It almost feels sore, like tight. 
but I curse it at the root and I command you to be healed in Jesus name and I'm starting to feel a release let me know if you feel that release I feel a release amen let me know and I'm just going back and forth you good amen you feel a release amen y'all give God praise I feel a release I feel a release amen all right the person that said they need direction put your uh on on periscope that's the last thing I saw I'm gonna try to prophesy I'm gonna move back and forth back and forth amen Amen. I, I command the issue of blood. We curse it at the root in Jesus' name. Amen. And your back hurt. God is Gody seventy seven. Get up. And I send forth the fire of God upon you in Jesus' name. Amen. Y'all give God praise. Woo! Two people on uh, Facebook Live said it has something right here on the right side, and that just lifted off of them. We just give God praise. Woo! Amen. All right. On Periscope, put your request. Come on now. I'm gonna I'm gonna stay on Facebook Live. Y'all put the demand on it. Amen. Come on. I'm trying to um, speak in your lives. Amen. Okay. I pray for uh, Adrian C. I command her to get a new job in Jesus name. I command right now the heavens that's been shut over her life to open now in Jesus name. And I thank you, Father God. I decree and declare and I see a phone call in the realm of the spirit. I call those things that be not as if they were. I see a phone call coming to you in the realm of the spirit. But great news. And thank you, Lord God. And I thank you, Lord God, for interviews. Interviews. I call it forth in Jesus mighty name. Amen. Hallelujah. Lord God, okay, let me go to Isaiah 61. I think your name is Cynthia Lewis. I think that's Cynthia Lewis. Put your prayer request up. Cynthia Lewis. You know, she follow me. Y'all subscribe to T Moses Vlogs. Y'all make sure y'all subscribe. We're going to have Testimony Tuesday. I want to know what God is doing in your life. Trying to me wants to know what God is doing in your lives. Amen. Every time we testify, we get a devil a black eye. Come on, we get a devil a black eye. Amen. But God, we just pray for Cynthia Lewis. We pray for um, elevation. Uh, I don't know, uh, Cynthia, you've been having pressure in the back of your head right here. I don't know if that's uh, you, I feel. Something in the back of your head. But I break that off of you in Jesus' name. I don't know if you've even been having headaches. You know, as I, as I speak over you, I start to feel something. Yes, I command a breakthrough to, to the next level in Jesus' name. I curse high blood pressure. That's you, the pain in the back of the head, Sans Hansen. I, I didn't see that. I missed it. All right. If that's you, be healed in Jesus' name. I break that off of you in Jesus' name. I break that off of you in Jesus' name. See, my baby got all the comments. I miss comments over here. Yes. San Hudson, you have uh, pressure. I, I break that off of you in Jesus' name. Amen. But I thank you, Father God, for elevation and uh, Isaiah, um, Cynthia's life in Jesus' name. Lord God, I thank you, Father God, for elevation. Lord God, I thank you, hallelujah. And just get ready. You get them sometimes. I break headaches off of you, both you and San Hudson, in Jesus' name. I curse it. I, I curse the cycle of headaches. I curse those migraines at the root. I curse tension headaches at the root, in Jesus' name. Lord, we, we thank you, God. Hallelujah. I feel a release. Who, who felt the release? I literally felt the release, like, ah, like weight being, weight being lifted. Let me know, hallelujah, what you feel. And I command the stubborn praying to break. It's like that lingering pain, but I command it to break in Jesus' name. Let me know what you feel. But Lord God, and, and this, this word is for uh, Cynthia. Uh, woman of God, you're getting ready to, you know, just experience a greater dimension and a greater glory. Amen. The Lord's going to do an outpouring of his spirit, not only in, you know, in your personal life, but also it's going to be so strong, so intense, that other people around you are going to begin to feel it as never before. God, I thank you, Lord Jesus, Lord, for what you're doing in her life. God, I even thank you, God, for the, the revelation, Lord God, the woman of God sees, Lord God, the revelation, Lord God, she's getting ready to impart into her, Lord God, thank you, Lord God, for the, the, the deeper level of wisdom. Lord God, I thank you, and as you've been going through a struggle, and I decree and declare the, the struggle ends now in Jesus' name. You know, I come against setbacks. I come against setbacks in Jesus' name. You know, it seems like, God, you know, this is a struggle, God. God, I'm, I'm just going through so much struggling, but I come against that in the name of Jesus. Uh, fibroids, cysts, female issues, I curse it at the root. You feel pressure on your head. I, I command that pressure to break off you in Jesus' name. Amen. You know, and I'm talking to Cynthia, and I'm, I'm going to come back to Periscope. Uh, you, you've you been going, you know, through this, this struggle. And it like it's, it's I feel like it's getting intense. Lord God, I thank you, Father God, that you are with the woman of God, Lord Jesus, that when she goes through the water, Lord, 
you are with her, God. When she goes to the river, she won't drown, Lord God. She won't come out smelling like smoke. And I just give you praise, Lord God. Hallelujah, God. Increase her finances. Increase her businesses, Lord God. Her business, Lord God. Everything she has sown, Lord God. God, I command her to reap an accelerated harvest. In Jesus' mighty name, somebody on here, something to issue in your, your left thigh? An issue, something in your left thigh. You know, you got an issue in your left thigh. Let me come back to Periscope. You feel a release on the right side of your neck. Amen. Amen. Woo, we thank you, God. We thank you. Prayer for all of my patients that are crippled by birth defects and in comas from gunshots all over will come in contact with. I see miracles. Yes, God. I just thank you, Father God, that you use Lavonda mightily in Jesus' name, Lord God. she be able to walk through, Lord God, wherever she works, God, and clear that place out for your glory in Jesus' name. Somebody on Periscope, put your prayer request up. Come on, people of God. Amen. All right. Let me go back to Facebook. All right. So let me know what you feel. Uh, Mimi, uh, uh, Mims, excuse me, Mims, Prophetess Mims. Amen. Let, let me know what you feel. Amen. I, I curse the, the fibers I commanded to dissolve and assist in Jesus' name. Lord, I pray for Regina Moore. God, she needs prayer for her son. Her son needs favor and her mother for healing. Lord God, as she stands in proxy for her mother, I command her mother to be healed in Jesus' name, God. God, I thank you that you sent forth your word and deliver us, oh God. Deliver her mother right now, God. That your word is alive, it is powerful, it's sharper than a two-edged sword, Lord. Lord God, we thank you for favor in her son's life, God. Lord God, we thank you, Father God, that no weapon formed against him will prosper. And every tongue that rises up against her son, God, you will condemn it, God. When the enemy comes in one way, God, you will make him flee seven ways. Lord God, I, I thank you, Jesus. So, so, woman of God, Regina Moore, just begin to thank God. Begin to thank God in, in Jesus' name. Hallelujah, Lord God. Uh, I'm, I'm looking in the spirit. Um, I don't know if your mother had, like, uh, respiratory issues. I see, like an inhaler or something like that but i curse that at the root in jesus name lord god um uh, god I, I thank you lord god hallelujah for um her son lord god i pray for the area of employment in his life stable employment i have decreed stability in jesus name amen hallelujah lord and I, I give you praise god we just thank you father in jesus mighty name amen hallelujah lord uh you, you said it's on the right side of your neck What's on the right side of your neck, La Latoya Lewis? What she said, babe? She said something on the right side of her neck. I don't know if I, I missed that comment. I don't know if you got healed or not. Okay, I don't know if you got healed or not. Amen. Regina Moore said yes. Amen. What is yes, Regina Moore? Amen. Your husband on the breathing machine, you need stability at work. I command your husband to get off that ventilator. Get off that breathing machine. I command it so I speak to his respiratory system. I command it to be healed in Jesus' name. Amen. I command stability in your life in Jesus' name. I command it so. It is so in Jesus' name. All right. Let's go to um, somebody on Facebook Live that need prayer. The pain is lifting. Woo! The pain is lifting. Y'all give God praise. Amen. Y'all give God praise. Amen. If you're sick on here, if you need healing, just while this anointing is flowing, just go ahead and lay, uh, you know, uh, hands on that body amen anywhere you need healing at amen we just come against generational curses generational curses uh you know um that's been in your body that's troubling you something that your father your mother may have had i prophesy will not come upon you we come against uh hypertension and cancer i break that off of you in jesus name amen i pray for betsy scott who's in the hospital I, I speak to her kidneys and I command her kidneys to function now in Jesus' name. I rebuke the spirit of death in Jesus' name. We believe the report of the Lord right now in Jesus' name. Your blurred vision, I command your eyes to see in Jesus' name. I curse blindness at the root in Jesus' name. Satan, the Lord rebukes you. Get off your old blind spirit in Jesus' name. Uh, I uh, curse the pain and spine issues in Jesus' name. I curse it at the root. So forth the fire of God. Right now, I'm putting your people that the facial jaw pain. I curse it at the root in Jesus' name. Ooh, N Nashia Clark Mason is right over here. When I said that, I just felt the pain, you know, right there. I come against, it almost felt like you had a root canal or something went wrong, but I, I curse it at the root in Jesus' name. I pray for your daughter. I, I command her colon to be 
uh, healed in Jesus' name. Lord God, I pray that Katie Williams will lose the weight she desired uh, so she can have her hip replaced and lift the pain off her hip. Can you can you walk, Katie? Let me know if you can walk. Amen. I curse diabetes, kidney failure at the root in Jesus' name. Let me know if you can walk. Amen. I pray for Sophia's safety. Amen. God, I pray right now for Al Davis' dad. I curse those three spots of cancer at the root. I curse it. It's just not commanded to dissolve and to die by the fire of the Holy Spirit. Right where he's at, God. I curse it at the root in Jesus' name. Lord, I just thank you that by your stripes he is healed. Lord God. Lord God, you can walk with it's very painful. God, I prophesy the more Katie walks, the more, Lord God, you will, uh, her, her healing will manifest in Jesus' name. Saying the Lord rebukes you, I speak right now to her hip. I decree and declare she won't even need surgery, God, that you will heal her now in Jesus' name. You will heal her now in Jesus' name. I sent forth the fire, God, in that hip in Jesus' name. Hallelujah, God. Hallelujah, what you feel in that hip? I feel fire on that left side of my hip. What you feel in that hip? Let me know. Hallelujah. Your jaw pain was dislocated. Your jaw was dislocated and it hurts at the top near the ear. And I curse it off you in Jesus' name. I command it to be healed in Jesus' name. Amen. Lord God, I thank you, Father God, for just manifesting things in this season in your people of God's life. The things, God, that's been held up, God. That you, that you Lord God, will bring it into fruition. Lord God, I thank you, God, for exposure, God. Expose the people that don't uh, mean us any good, Lord. Lord, I just thank you, Father God. Hallelujah, Lord. And somebody on Periscope, put your prayer request up. Put your prayer request up. Amen. I'm just, I'm just going back and forth. Amen. Yes, I, I pray right now for kiss by the sun. I command your niece to get off the ventilator in Jesus' name. I speak healing in her lungs in Jesus' name. I decree because she will grow up and, and, and go to school and do some great things in her life in Jesus' name. Uh, somebody said my mind and skin. I missed that part. Put that last prayer request up. I curse the skin conditions at the root in Jesus' name, Lord. Hallelujah. And everybody that the enemy's tormenting your mind, step out on faith and just lay hands on your head right now. Amen. And I just put the same mind that was in Christ Jesus. Let that mind also be in us also. Amen. The mind, ooh, I feel the anointing right there. Amen. Let that mind that was in Christ Jesus, let us, let us be in also. Amen. Hallelujah. We just cast on every high thought and every high imagination that exalts itself against Ooh, the, the knowledge of God and we bring every thought captive into the obedience of Christ Jesus. Amen. I uproot every demonic seed planted in Jesus' name. I come against that torment spirit in Jesus' name. Let me tell you something. Hallelujah. You got a place to live. Amen. Woo! Look at God. Kim and chemistry. Kim chemistry. You know, Kimberly was on, I think, my last uh, Facebook Live. And she was staying with somebody. We prayed. Look at God. Amen. The next day, she said, after the prophecy, the next day, that is God. Amen. We, we give God praise. If anybody want to put their testimony up here, put your testimony up here. Let me know if you got healed during this broadcast. Let me know what God is doing in your life. Amen. Amen. Lift it off of me, Jesus. Are you still walking, Katie? Let me know if you're still walking. Let me know if you're still walking. Amen. God is good. Amen. You got throat pain. I cursed it at the root in Jesus' name. Amen. I sent forth the fire, God, in that throat in Jesus' name. I started to feel the, the anointing in your throat. What do you feel? Amen. I command pain to break in Jesus' name. Amen. God is good. Amen. I started to feel the fire. I, uh, I'm just sitting in the glory. It feels so good. Amen. It feels so good. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Somebody on here. Stomach ailments. Right side of your belly. Right side of your stomach. Amen. Who are you? God wants to heal that. Those, those Something in your stomach, the, the bottom right side or something like that. Amen. It hurts. I don't know if it's like trapped gas or I don't know, some kind of reflux or something. Amen. That's right. God healed Al Davis of asthma through this ministry. And how long you been healed, Al? All right. And Kim said, and yesterday I picked up an Uber rider that worked at radio station and he loved Christian mixes and he given them to his station owner. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. That's awesome. I pray for your mom's need to be healed in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, he's been healed of asthma since May 2016.
through this ministry, we give, we give God praise. Amen. I commend every affection in your body to die by the fire of, of God right now. I commend every, you know, cancer to die by the fire of God. Somebody on here, hernias. I curse it at the root in Jesus' name. I curse it at the root in Jesus' name. By his stripes, you are healed. Amen. Come on now. You are healed. I don't care how the devil's trying to attack you. We don't receive that. I was on Prophet Brian Norman Scope this morning. And he was talking about, he's a young man of God, a powerful prophet. He's talking about how the enemy trying to attack him. And, you know, he had to get a stent in his coronary artery. And then he went to the doctor and he had a mass, an aneurysm in the side of his neck. But he said, I don't receive that. And he began to exercise his faith and speak to that mass. He spoke to that aneurysm. When they did his CAT scan, they couldn't find nothing. That is God. Amen. That is God. Hallelujah. Come on now. Speak to it. Don't accept that sickness in your body. Amen. I, I command every sickness, every disease, every doctor's diagnosis on your lives to, to die and to eradicate by the fire of God. We, I, I, I command total health, total healing in, on, on this broadcast in Jesus' name. We make a vow before God right now. We're going to live better. We're going to be better. We're going to eat better. We're going to exercise. Amen. We're going to even push back the plate. We're going to obey God. We're going to honor our bodies. We're going to present our bodies to God as a living sacrifice. Holy unto God. Amen. Jesus. Our bodies are the temple of the Holy Spirit. Sickness. You know, don't belong in us. We, we, we thank you, God, for delivering us from gluttony. Some of us are just greedy. I, I know. Amen. Some of us are just greedy. But I thank you, Father God, that we'll eat in moderation. Amen. Come on, God. Hallelujah, God. We thank you, Lord, God. We was repent and we thank you, Father God, that we are healthy. Amen. We're walking to our healing today, our deliverance today in Jesus' name. Lord God, we thank you, God, for giving us our heart's desires. Amen. We thank you, God, as we delight ourselves in you, you will give us the desires of our heart. Hallelujah, Lord. Lord God, we thank you, Father. Lord God, I pray right now for Diane Saxter. Lord God, I pray right now for good news and safe travels out of her town concerning her nursing career. I decreed in her life. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, Lord. Lord, we thank you, Father. Put your prayer request up here. Amen. I still want to pray for some people. Amen. Lord God, we just thank you, Jesus. Lord God. Oh, Jesus. Lord, we thank you, Lord God. Lord God, I thank you, Father God. Hallelujah, Lord God. I want. To, I just want to pray for the prophet. Let me pray for Prophet Brian. Lord God, I just pray for the prophet of God. I pray for his ministry. I come against discouragement. I come against the burden of uh, of any any heaviness in his body. Lord God, where he, where he try to take care of his family. I curse it at the root in the name of Jesus, Lord God. I even speak right now in unity, Lord God, in his family, in Jesus' name, Lord God. Hallelujah, Lord God. Lord God, I thank you, Father God, hallelujah, that he's getting ready to walk, Lord God, on uncharted territories and new paths, Lord God. I thank you, Father God, for even the revelation that you have even bestowed upon him, Lord God. God, I thank you for divine wisdom and increase in the man of, in the man of God's life, God. I thank you, God, Lord God, that he'll be able to go forth in this ministry as never before, God. I cancel the assignment and the attacks of the wicked one on this man of God's life in Jesus' name, God. God, I plead the blood of Jesus upon him, his business his marriage, Lord God, in Jesus' name, God. I haven't cursed any pain that he may have in his body right now. In Jesus' mighty name, Lord God. And I thank you, Father God, that you're going to use this man of God as never before, God, to, to pull down principalities, to pull down principalities in, in demonic strongholds, Lord God, and spiritual wickedness in high places as never before, God. I thank you, Father God, for the increasing the fire of God on his mantle, increasing the fire of God on his mantle, God. I thank you, Father God, that through him, you're going to do a mighty work and even manifest healing, God, through him as never before, God. I thank you, Father God, that his words right now, this season, are carrying more weight. Amen. And I, I give you praise, oh God, for what you're doing to the life of this prophet. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. Uh, when I was praying for the prophet, uh, I felt somebody, I don't know if it's you, prophet, but I felt um, pain in my right ankle. Amen. Somebody got ankle right pain. And I also feel like... If, if you if you have back issues right now, amen, I feel the, the anointing to heal backs right now in Jesus' name. Amen. Yes. 
on the way to the hospital. All right, I prefer you should to Shonda. I prefer Dinah Moore. She's on the way to the hospital. Uh, you haven't transitioned to full blown. I just want to live and get my life back on purpose. Uh, I can't see all your comment. Okay, been trying to hold on to appointment. Amen. Lord, I just curse right now any blood issues at the root. I curse AIDS, lupus at the root in Jesus' name. Lord God, I, I speak right now total healing. I decree over the people of God that's that's terminal right now. I decree that you should live and not die and declare the works of the Lord. I decree that you should live and not die and declare the works of the Lord. We rebuke death. We rebuke premature death. I prophesy that we're going to live a long life. We're going to live a long life, just like the, the, the prophet in the word of God. Amen. The prophet Moses, you know, his eye was not dim when, when God called him home. He lived to be 120 years. He had a long life. I decree Psalms 91, 16, that the Lord will show us our, his salvation and, and to satisfy us with long life in Jesus' name. Amen. I pray for Tashana Robinson. God, give her strength. Give her boldness, Lord God. I bind up any fear that's trying to... Come against the woman of God that when she begins to pray and go forth and begin to preach and prophesy the enemy was going to cause doubt. I come against that in the name of Jesus. Lord God, I thank you, Lord God, for the finances that she's desiring, God, this day, God. Lord God, I thank you, God, for the elevation. I thank you, God, that every prophecy over her life is going to come to pass. In the mighty name of Jesus. That's you, Sharita Purcell Thompson with the ankle pain. Is it in your right side? Let me know if it's in your right side. You're going to be healed right now. In Jesus' name. The person on here that said hip pain earlier, let me know if the pain is gone. Let me know if the pain is gone. Amen. Hallelujah. Lord, we thank you. That's right. Long life. We, we don't accept the, the lies of the devil. We don't accept that's our perfect esophagus. Amen. Amen. Sharika said the pain is gone. Y'all give God praise. Amen. There's a lot of, of people that's being afflicted. Right now, just, just begin to lift hands. Amen. I don't care what it is. Just lift hands and just receive your total healing today. Receive your total healing today. Receive your total healing today. I feel a lot of virtue coming out. Receive your total healing today. Lord God, the anointing on my life for healing, I impart right now to your people. God, you said freely I have, you know, uh, received, so freely I give. Receive it in Jesus' name. Amen. And just as an act of faith, lay hands on your body. I'm on fire right now. As from my head down to my feet, I'm on fire. Receive that anointing to walk in your healing today. Walk in your deliverance today. Amen. I come against fear. I come against any limitations in Jesus' name. Amen. Receive it. You know, take your communion. I, 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 I took communion. I got a communion kit. You know, me and my husband, we took, I, we took communion before I got on here today. Amen. Take communion daily. Amen. You're drinking the body and the blood. You're drinking the, the anointing, the flesh of Jesus. Amen. His, his anointing will come upon you and live within you. If you don't have these kits, go 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 to Walmart. Amen. Go to Food Line, whatever your grocery store is. Trader Joe's, whatever it is. Amen. Kroger's. Go get some oyster crackers. Go get a saltine cracker. Get some cranberry grape juice or some sort. Amen. And, and, and declare your healing. Declare that you'll keep your healing. Declare that sickness and disease can't ride in your body. Amen. God, we, we thank you, Lord. Yes, receive that anointing. Somebody set their hands on fire. Receive that. Amen. Receive it in Jesus' name. Lay hands on your ears. Amen. As an act of faith and say, God, I thank you that I have an ear to hear what the Spirit of the Lord is saying to the church. God, I'm going to hear you as never before. Lay hands on your eyes. Say, God, I thank you, Lord God, that I'm able to see in the realm of the Spirit. I'm able to see things, Lord God, in, in Jesus' name. Amen. Come on now. Lay hands on your head and say, I got the mind of Christ. Amen. Lay hands on your heart. And say, thank you, God, for healing in my emotions. Thank you, God, for healing in my heart, whether it's physical or spiritually. Amen. In Jesus' name, lay hands on your belly and say, I will. I will. Out of my belly will flow rivers of living water. Amen. Lay hands on your mouth and say, I am God's mouthpiece. I will speak the word of God. Amen. I will speak the word of God. And none of my words will fall and hit the ground. If I decree something, it's going to happen. If I, whatever I speak, it's going to come to pass. Amen. My words are powerful in Jesus. Come on, speak over yourself. Put your hands on your mouth. Amen. Say, my words are powerful. Amen. The word of God in my mouth. It's like, come on now, fire. It's like the hammer that breaks the rock in pieces. Speak that over your mouth. Amen. Come on now. So when the enemy starts messing with you, 
You say, Satan, get thee behind thee. And you say, get out of my home. Get out of my body. Get out of my finances. Get out of my relationships in Jesus' name. And he has to go. Because the word of God says, submit to God. Resist the devil, he has to flee. He has to flee. Amen? He has to flee. Well, I'm, I'm talking to some people that, that's not playing around. That's tired of being lonely, going through depression, fighting depression, you know, struggling. Seems like to take a step forward, three steps back. Come on now. I need some people right now to say enough is enough. Enough is enough. Amen. The enemy tried to attack me in my body, tried to attack my finances, tried to attack my relationship. You know, I'm trying to do the call of God on my life, but it seemed like I got to deal with foolishness. It seemed like my spouse is acting up. It seemed like my children are in rebellion. But I come against that today in the name of Jesus. Come on now. Somebody on here, you hurt your arm. I feel it on my left side. You believe in God for workers' comp. You know, I speak that in your life in Jesus' name. Where, where they don't want to pay you. I speak right now that the hand of the enemy is open in Jesus' name. Amen. Everything the enemy has stolen from you, I command it to give it back. We snatch it back in Jesus' name. Amen. Enough is enough. Forget the foolishness. Amen. Lord God, we thank you, Father God. Lord, that we don't play anymore, God. We don't compromise with you, Lord. We get on fire for you, God. We totally obey you, God, even if it's out of our comfort zone, even if it's unfamiliar land, Lord God. I thank you, God, that out of our comfort zone is the time to grow. It's the time that you are stretching us. It's the time to get an impartation of a stronger anointing. Amen. Hallelujah, Lord God. Somebody on here talking uh, some crazy stuff. Satan, I rebuke you. Whenever the glory comes, you know, the enemy always come up on here. I mean, this is confirmation, amen, that the demons will start manifesting, amen, that the demons will start manifesting. But we rebuke that in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Christopher, Pastor Moore, I see a, a radio broadcast, amen. Hallelujah. Lord God, we thank you, Father God. Uh, I command open doors for the man of God. Been praying, 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 praying. Lord God, when you're going to do this, what you said he's going to do, I command these doors to be open in Jesus' name. I command the support that he's desiring of you, God, to, to, to happen in his life in Jesus' name. The headache and pressure left. Amen. Look at God. Somebody on Periscope, not Periscope, but Facebook Live, they said that um, Crystal Dawn said the headache and pressure left. We give God praise. Amen. We give God praise. We thank you. Receive that impartation. Amen. Receive it. Receive. We give God praise. Amen. We give God praise. Amen. I pray for Kena Robinson. I curse the complications from muscular scardosis or scarosis. Amen. Uh, the, the doctors have drained liquid from her lungs. I command every fluid in her lungs to dissolve and go in the name of Jesus. God, I thank you for divine healing. Lord God, she can only communicate by blinking her eyes. Lord God. I thank you for, I don't care how long the devil has been in that body. I command him to go in Jesus' name. Satan, that is not your home. You got to go in Jesus' name. Amen. Somebody speak to, over yourself. Say, Satan, I don't care how long you've been here. You are a trespasser. You, you, you can't have my body. You can't have my marriage. You can't have my children. You can't have my finances. No. Amen. You can't have it. You know, I'm a child of the most high God. I obey God. I, I walk right. I, I walk up rightly. You know, I always tell God, I said, I don't plant bad seeds. You know, I, I believe what the scripture says. Amen. In Galatians, that says, God is not mocked. Whatever so, whatever a man reaps, that's what he's going to, you know, whatever he sows, that's what he's going to reap. Whatever he sows, that's what he's going to reap. I believe that. So I always tell God, I said, I don't plant bad seeds. I shouldn't reap it. I don't, I don't receive this. I don't accept this. Amen. I'm not going to tolerate foolishness. Amen. I, I'm not going to tolerate foolishness. I'm not going to tolerate nonsense. Hallelujah. God, I, I, Kena Montgomery, I feel fire going up your nostrils. I curse sinus infection at the root in Jesus' name. What do you feel? Amen. Let me know what you feel. Come on now. That's right. Renew mine. It's already yours. Renew mine. I wrote a book. I just wrote a book. Amen. It should come out uh, if you pre-order for me next week. If you go to Amazon, it'll be like maybe December or something. All right. It's called Conquering the Mind, a Daily Devotional. The, see, the enemy, I, see, I, I was ignorant of the word of God. You feel the Holy Ghost, receive it. Amen? Receive that anointing. I, I had fear and anxiety, and uh, for five years, I didn't know the word of God. You know, I, I allowed the enemy to 
it pretty much take over my mind where I wanted to kill myself. But then I, one day I just got tired and I just, I just said, God, I said, just lifted my hands. Amen. And I cried out to Jesus and the power of God with the word and fasting and meditation. I was able to, you know, arise above that because we are more than a conqueror through Christ. Amen. You ever see that Demetri Richardson? We are more than a conqueror through Christ that loves us. Amen. You are more than a conqueror. I said, no, you know, five years is a long time to be tormented. Amen. See, I have to get the word of God in my life. I have to shut the door to sin. Amen. I said, okay, I'm, I'm going to live right. I'm not going to play around with God. I'm going to get on fire. Forget about compromising. Forget about being a people pleaser. I need to be a God pleaser. Amen. I, I need to get on fire for God. And that's exactly what I did. And the, the, the door closed to sin, you know, in my life. Amen. And I start living righteously. Amen. By through Christ Jesus, I became the righteousness of God through Christ. I got a revelation of what righteousness was. Amen. You know, I had to delete people out of my phone. They didn't do me. They didn't mean me no good. Amen. I had to get rid of people that were just confessing Jesus with their mouth, but living another walk. Amen. Amen. I, you know, one thing that specs to me, you know, a lot of people, and I, I was going to say this for the making of the prophet series. Um, uh, my God, they, they, they preaching Jesus with their mouth, but their lifestyle is totally different. They want to justify the word of God to fit their, 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 their standards. Amen. They want, and it's sad and it, and it vexes me. It, it literally vexes me. It literally makes me sad. It literally makes me just want to cry. You know, you up here saying, oh, I, I love God. And, you know, people looking at your life, you're actually leading people astray, you know, with these titles. Go sit down somewhere with your title. Amen. What, what about your character? You know, that, that right there just, whoo, Jesus. So that thing, whoo. And my, my husband know what I'm talking about. He told me the other day, he said, baby, just go pray. Just go pray because I just got to the point where I was like, I just can't believe this. Like, this don't make it right. This doesn't make it right. Just because everybody else is doing it, the world is doing it, doesn't make it right in the church. You know? Oh, Jesus. Anyway, y'all. He's, <laughs> he's beside me giving me, you should give me more support. But anyway, y'all, and we need to get serious with God, saints. Amen? You know, we need to get serious. We need to get for real, for real. Amen? You know, I, I know God is real. And I know the devil's real, too. You know, I, so many times, even when I was raised, uh, when I, I, at the age of 12, I heard Jesus for the first time. And uh, I was raised as a Buddhist. But I used to see demons, spirits over me. And I was sitting in the, the, the shower this morning. I was like, God, I just thank you because you brought me a long way. You brought me a long way. The, the demons used to try to get in my body, open up my mouth. They tried to get sexual with me. But I thank God that the demon never possessed me. Where I started manifesting and having like grandma, you know, seizures and crazy stuff like that. You know, I, I, I give God praise. Craziness. Amen. Where I, where I wanted to be a stripper and I was a stripper for several years, you know, just dark, you know, but I, I give God praise that I stopped playing around. Amen. That I really got on fire with him. That I really got a relationship with him. Why am I saying this? Because somebody on here, you're compromising. Even, even when I was single waiting to be married, I never compromised. You know, I, I was broke sometimes, but I said, God, you're going to pay these bills. And that's exactly what God did. I refused to go back to my ex to sleep around. I refused to, to go date and hustle and get money. I refused all that crazy stuff. I, I didn't compromise. I can testify. I, I waited on God. I, 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 I gave my testimony when I first got married. I said, no one put their hand in my cookie jar. Nobody... Feed it among my lilies. Songs of Solomon talk us about feed it among the lilies. Nobody did that to me. Amen. Nobody. Because I said, God, I love you. Amen. I told God, you know, I said, God, I want you more than I want a husband. Amen. And that was my mindset. That was my mindset. And I said, you know, I, I know a lot of women on here, you, you, you want somebody. A lot of men, you want somebody. Singles, you, you you're desiring, you're, you're horny and your hormones, your flesh acting up. You better go get in the presence of God. Amen. That's exactly what I did. I had to get in the presence of God. Amen. You know, I, I gained like 15 pounds since I've been married. You know, I was so skinny in Colorado because, yeah. you know, I fasted a lot. I wasn't, I wasn't, I wasn't this is the presence of God. I was not playing. Amen. Hallelujah. Come on now, people of God. It's time to get serious. God bless you, Apostle Dr. Griffin. 
Amen. I feel like I just went off. But anyways, let me just go ahead and pray. Because I can just preach all day about living right and not compromising. How you doing, prophet? prophetess? How you doing, woman of God? I thank you, Lord God, for the elevation in her life. Amen. The elevation. And I thank you, God, Lord God, for the visitations of your glory that's resting upon her ministry, Lord God, that you called her to do. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. God, we thank you, Lord. Yes. Lord God, we, we, we thank you, Father God. Who else on here need uh, healing in their body? We, we thank God. A lot of people got healed today. Amen. Lord God, we just pray for finances. I didn't pray for finances yet. You know, God, we just thank you for financial breakthrough. Finances. In Jesus' name. Amen. Don't let this right. Don't let the titles fool you. You know, I, I, I get so vexed. I, I, I literally weep sometimes. I cry. God, these people with these titles, you know, and they don't have the anointing for that office or they, they're not even walking, uh, you know, right before God. And they're just playing around. They're, they're playing around. Amen. I, I really get vexed. You want to see somebody cry and weep about it? Try, try, no. You know, <laughs> Jeez, I just get so mad about that. Jesus. Uh, you got pain in your, uh, your, your knees, your hand and knees. I speak healing over you in Jesus. I command healing right now in Jesus name. Amen. And just get up and just activate your faith. Amen. And I sent forth the fire God upon you in Jesus name. What, what do you feel in your hands? I feel fire. And what do you feel in those knees? Let me know. Amen. Yes. Hallelujah. How you doing? Uh, prophet Foster. God bless you. The prophets are in the house. Amen. Lord God, we thank you, God, for the man's ministry, men of God's ministry, God. God, I just thank you, Father God, that you enlarge his territory as never before. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. Hallelujah. Um, somebody on here, I feel like the fire got going in my throat. You've been having itchy throats, scratchy throats. Amen. And I also feel uh, the Lord's healing somebody's right foot. Amen. I don't know if somebody hurt their foot on the, your right foot. Amen. Your hip is feeling better. Woo! Katie Williams, right now, she activated her faith. Uh, she's believing the Lord for a hip replacement surgery. But I told her to get up and activate her faith. And she said her hip is feeling better. Y'all give God glory. Woo! We thank you. God is good. Amen. Lord, we thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Wh whose right foot is hurting and whose throat is this? You know, somebody should, somebody should feel the fire God right here in their throat. Ooh, it's just strong, y'all. I just feel like God... Um, He's opening up somebody's throat right now. I just feel fire, like going in your throat. Your body is shocking. What do you mean your body is shocking? What does that mean? Your body is shaking? Is that what you mean to say? Amen? Under the under the presence of God? That's awesome. Your back uh, hurts as well. Uh, can you please get up, Danielle, and move? And I sent forth that anointing, the fire got to heal uh, your back in Jesus' name. God bless you, Pastor. God bless you, Prophetess, Pastor Jennifer. All right, that's your right foot, uh, Demetrius Richardson. Lord God, I, I thank you, Father God. Lord God, hallelujah. Get up, Demetrius. And I feel, I feel the anointing right now for that foot. Amen. Yes, and I just, I just thank God just for uh, healing the sick today. Uh, a lot of people got healed today. Amen. We, we thank God. We thank God for every minister on here. Lord God, I curse that at the root. You said you rebuke the spirit of affirmity. Your body's under attack. I decree and declare that your body got to come in alignment with the word of God. Somebody on here, I feel cramps in your um, your your wound area. Some issues of your wound. I curse that at the root in Jesus' name. Amen. It's like, uh, it's, it's particularly in your, your left side. Amen. It's like a cyst, but I command that cyst to dissolve and to die by the fire of the Holy Spirit right now in Jesus' name. Amen. God, I had surgery. I passed a kidney stone out. I also passed, uh, uh, had a gallbladder removed. Lord God, I, I thank you, Father God, for healing in Denise Sealing's body in Jesus' name. Amen. Oh, amen. Nicole Thomas, she said her throat has been really sore, but it feels much better. We, we thank God. Hallelujah. We thank God for what he's doing. That's you with the pain, Denise. Get up and move. And let me know if the pain is gone. Let me know. Amen. That's you and the Sheba too. Let me know. I feel fire in that wound. Let me know if you feel fire. It's the left side. I feel left side, uh, in, in like in my uterus or in that wound area. It's like fire right now all throughout there. It's fire. What do you feel? Get up and just move. Just activate your faith. Amen. Let me know what you feel. By, your, by God's stripe, you are healed. Amen. Just let me know what you feel. God bless you too, prophet. 
God bless you, man of God. Lord God, I thank you, Lord God, just for the revelation upon your prophet, God. I thank you, Lord God. Hallelujah. Uh, um, prophet, I don't know if, is that, are you having an earache? Is that you, I feel? It's like all in my left ear when I was praying for you. It's like all in my left ear. That's you, you got an earache? God, I, I command healing in this ear in Jesus' name. I command what, whatever that pressure is, I command it to break in Jesus' name. Amen. Lord God, we thank you. Hallelujah. Let me know what you feel, prophet uh, uh, Prophet of God. Let me know what you feel. God bless you too. Uh, Sylvia, God we, God, we thank you, Lord God, for the woman of God. Lord God, uh, okay, if you, if you want to sow the ministry, somebody asked how they can sow, uh, just go to my website, KimberlyHargraves.com. KimberlyHargraves.com, and it's on my Periscope profile. You can sow your seed there. Amen. Um, yes, your ear feel, does it feel good? Amen. God is good. Woo! We thank you. Amen. You've been struggling in your walk. I command, hallelujah. And I see Sylvia, I'm about to get to you because I know you've been trying to connect. So I'm, I'm going to pray for Sylvia. Amen. Uh, I pray that you will walk uprightly and circumspectly before the Lord in Jesus' name. Lord God, we just lift up Sylvia. God, we thank you, Father God. Hallelujah. It's like the enemy's been trying to sabotage you. You know, it seemed like the more you go forward, it seemed like seeing sin and excess back in your life and all this confusion. But I cover you with the blood of Jesus. You are God's anointed. You are God's anointed. You got a great work to do for the Lord. You know, I, I got every person, every man that don't mean her no good, that's trying to use her and trying to, you know, uh, misuse her body. I rebuke that in the name of Jesus, God. God, I just thank you, Father God, that you lose the spirit of purity upon her, God, and she begin to walk, and she walks uprightly, Lord God, and she, Lord God, don't have time for foolishness or nonsense in the name of Jesus, Lord God. Lord God, I thank you, Father God, and I decree of in her life that she is a virtuous woman of God. She is a holy woman of God. Lord Lord God, I thank you, Father God. Hallelujah. And, you know, I see you, woman of God, I see you having an opportunity to exercise your faith. You don't even feel like you can go out there and heal the sick, but you can. And I thank you, Father God, for the gift of healing. As you lift your hands up, Cynthia, you know, I feel the fire of God in that right hand for you, woman of God. It's like the Lord is imparting healing to you right now. What do you feel, Sylvia, in that hand? You know, it's, it's a gift of healing inside of you, and God wants to stare it up inside of you in this season. What do you feel in that hand? Uh, Syl Sylvia Bellamy, you know, woman of God, you know, you're, you're going to go lay hands on the sick. You're going to go uh, when, when they do services at church and lay hands and pray for some sick people to be healed. Amen. Lord, God, I, I thank you, Father God. I don't know where you went, Sylvia. I can't see your comment. Thank you for putting my uh, website up there. Uh, can you pray for my PCOS so I can get my menstrual cycle back? I command your, your wound right now to be, uh, to be healed in Jesus name. Amen. Hallelujah. I pray for your spiritual walk. I pray against uh, limitation and stagnation in Jesus name. Amen. We pray against that. Amen. Thank you guys for praying for me for my strength. Amen. Lord God, thank you babe for putting my website. That's, that's, that's a good husband. He's awesome. He supports me. Yay. All right. Yes, uh, I, I will come against confusion in Jesus' name. I come against that in Jesus' name. Your jaw pain gone. Woo, somebody said their jaw pain is gone. N N Nasha Clark Ma uh, Mason on uh, Facebook Live said her jaw pain is gone. We give God praise. Woo, woo. Yeah, just, I just pray that you just receive. Amen. Just lift hands and I just pray right now because God knows what you need. Amen. You know, I, I touch and agree by faith or finances. You know, that you will be, you, that you'll walk and destiny and purpose and i just come against the setbacks i come against the demonic attacks because it seemed like when you step out and, and and accept jesus as lord and savior and just begin to walk you know where in, in the things of god you're going to face some of them demonic attacks but i come against that in jesus name amen lord i pray for marriages amen i just pray and i decree that we won't get distracted we won't get distracted amen we will not get distracted amen i come against confusion i come against unbelief amen Come on now, that the blessings that's been held up will, that's right, locate you in Jesus' name. Amen. They will find you in Jesus' name. Hallelujah, Lord God. Lord God, I thank you, Father God, just for restoration in her life. Restoration in her life in Jesus' name. And woman of God, let me tell you something. Now, I'm going to be real transparent with you guys. You know, I had a, a job for a long time in the hospital, you know, and I, I made a bad mistake. I had anger, you know, really, really bad anger. I would go from zero to a hundred, just like that, you know, to the point where I was breaking my own dishes, 
uh, destroying things around the house. It's been so, it's just doing crazy stuff. And then, you know, I, I destroyed some property and I got arrested. And I was on probation for two years. Well, guess what? You know, it was time for me at my job to get another background check. It was time for me to actually get a promotion. You know, and it's like, I want to see you to this big hospital because you are qualified. You got all the credentials, you know. Uh, I didn't think about I was on probation. I didn't think about it. But then she was like, I need to do a background check. I was like, oh, my God. So I knew that they was going to find out I was on probation. So make a long story short, you know, they found out I was on probation. I lost my job at the hospital, and I was afraid. I didn't know what to do, you know. But then in the midst of that trouble, huh, God gave me Psalms 56 verse 3. And the scripture reads, when I'm afraid, I put my trust in thee, O God. So I, I, I was afraid. I said, God, I got, I'm a single mom. I got these kids. I, what am I going to do? How am I going to take care of my family, God? And But God provided. He provided. He gave me a word. He said, oh, uh, you know, uh, he said, you're now in the office of a prophet. And this was years ago, you know, and this was like 2015. Um, and he said, I'm going to sustain you. And he has every, every, ever since then. Ever since 2015, he, he's been doing it. You know, it's, it's a faith walk. Amen. We, we got to exercise our faith for everything. You know, you want to be in full-time ministry, like my old mentor used to tell me. It's, it requires faith 24-7. You can't say one day you believe God and next day you, you don't believe God. Amen. It is a faith walk. Listen, everything with God. I always tell people faith is the currency for everything in his kingdom. It is a faith walk. You know, the prophet of God, Brian uh, Norman was talking about faith. Amen. Come on now. It is a faith walk. It is required. The just shall live by faith. It's not an option. You can't turn it on and off. You know, uh, it is a requirement. One day the Lord spoke to me. He said, uh, why come to me and pray if you're going to doubt me afterwards? And that thing is, check me. You know, when God speaks to you and rebuke you, I'm like, oh my God, you're, you're right. You're, you're right. Lord, come on now. I can't be playing around. And, uh, you know, so I don't even care what it looks like. Amen. I've been in situations where I had no gas in my car, but I said, no, God, I got plans. You know, I got to get to where I'm going. And I said, I'm just going to believe you, God. I got in that car, began to drive. And when I was en route, God sent the seed to get my gas money. Amen. Y'all want to play with this thing. Amen. Amen. My lights got cut off. Come on now. My lights got cut off one time. And they put a disconnect notice on my door, telling me they about to cut it off. I was embarrassed. I pulled that sticker off, the disconnect notice, and tried to hide it. And I, I didn't know what I was going to do. I wasn't working. And my hours at the time, you know, was flaky, shaky, you know. And I just looked up to God. I said, God, only you can help me. Only you, God, can help me. Right? And then my lights got cut off. I was, I, I never forget, I was taking a bath. And they said, no, doo, psh. I saw my God, my power got cut off. So I had to get out of the bathtub. And uh, somebody texted me. It was my friend from from uh, the Bronx. And she said, you know, what are you doing? And I told her what happened. She said, you know what? She said, uh, God told me to give you 300 I think it was like $300. It might have been 394 396 I don't remember the exact number. But he said to give you this. I was praying, and he said, give this buddy to Kimberly. And she, how she got the money is because, you know, and like up north, they got all these potholes and stuff like that. And she had uh, ran over a pothole and it blew out her tire. And this was like the second time it happened, like back to back. So she went to get her car fixed and she's going to pay the money to get a new tire or whatever like that. And they, they said, you know what, ma'am, we're going to fix it for free because you were just here like last week or something or earlier this week. So she had this money and she didn't know what to do with it. She prayed and she asked God and God said, give it to Kimberly. Amen. And that's exactly what she did. And that was exactly what I needed to get my lights cut back on. Amen. So what am I saying? You may be going through something, but God already has a plan. God already knows what he's doing. Your job is just to believe God. Your job is just to trust God. Even though it hurts, even though it's uncomfortable, you don't understand why you got to suffer, why you got to go through this pain, why you got to go through the struggle, why every time, you know, you just want to live right, something wrong happened, why you're being attacked like this, why people coming against you, why nobody don't like you. Come on now. I done been through some stuff. But at the end of the day, we got to trust God. Amen. If I don't trust God, guess what? I'm going to be homeless. I'm going to be honest. Amen. But God gave me a word. He said, you will never be homeless. 
and I went through since 2015 when I when I got called in this thing full time. Uh, I I didn't know, you know. I said, God, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I don't got no job, you know. You, you're my employer, and God is the best employer. Amen. He's the best employer. So He gave me a word because I was just going through, just going through, you know, about to be homeless. You know, I got evicted before, you know, but like the sixth time, you know, and I had to get faith up, you know. Why did God allow me to go through that six times? Because I had to get my faith up. So now I don't even worry about that. Okay. I just know that on the first of the month, the, the money for rent is going to be there. You know, I'm going to have it. I can't worry about this. It's coming. Amen. So that's my mindset. So what am I saying? I'm saying to you, don't worry about it. Stop worrying about things. Stop stressing about things that's out of your control. When God already told you the end. Amen. God said I will never be homeless. Amen. Uh, 2000. 15, I got evicted. Amen. He said, I'll never be homeless. I didn't know where I was going to lay my head at. Amen. I didn't know. But what I do know is I went to God and I just worshiped the Lord. This broken, I just laid prostrate, just worshiping the Lord. And God gave somebody a dream. He gave somebody a dream. They just got blessed with all this money. So they knew they had to help me. And they gave me like $2,500. Amen. So I was able to get a new place, a new, you know, and move and stuff like that. He worked it out. He worked it out. So what am I saying? You know, for, forget about things that are out of your control. Amen. You stay in faith. You speak the word. You stand on that. You stand on that word. Oh, you, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not saying that you're not going to go through nothing. Oh yeah, we're going to go through some stuff, but God is with you. Amen. Everything that I went through. I wasn't going through it alone. I had the presence of God on my life. Only, it only made the anointing on my life stronger. Amen? It only made me much more aware of the, the presence of God. Amen? It made me more sensitive to the presence of God. I can feel God around me when other people can't feel it. Like, do you feel God? They'd be like, I don't know. But it made me like that. Because I had a lot of time to spend alone with God. I had a lot of time. Talk about years. In, in, in the wilderness, years, in isolation. Like I said, I was on probation for two years, two and a half years. I couldn't leave the state of Colorado. Couldn't leave. And, I, you know, because if, if I wasn't on probation, I would have left. You know, ran up out of that place, I would have still had an anger issue. But because the Lord allowed me to go through that, amen, it, it did a work inside of me. It did a work inside of me. And then I got some anointing, y'all. Amen. I began to pray for the sick and I began to get results. Amen. Come on now. Hallelujah. Yes. Amen. This, I'm glad you came to Demetrius Richardson. Amen. Yep. God led you here today. That's right. God led you here today. I'm glad you got your healing. Amen. So, you know, listen to me. Your faith, and I feel like talking about faith here, because somebody needs to hear this. Your faith, and I wrote a book uh, about faith. You know, uh, you know, I, I wrote a book about this. Amen. Walk by faith, a daily devotional. Your faith can produce you know, something out of nothing. You may be down to your last 50 cents. God, oh my God, I don't know how I'm going to make it. Your faith in God can pr pr produce, amen? Your faith in God can move those mountains. Your faith in God can do the miraculous. And I'm not preaching nothing I ain't live by, amen? Don't worry, the finances will come. The opportunities will come, amen? The, the, the blessings will come. The, the prophecy will manifest as long as you stay in faith. Okay, God, I'm not going to look at what's going on. I'm not going to get distracted. God, I know I hear from you. God, I know I'm not crazy. You told me to do this. You know, it may look crazy when you believe God. It may look ridiculous to the, to the people around you or to the natural. It may look ridiculous. But as you have faith, it's going to happen. You know how crazy uh, Noah probably looked because he heard God and God told him to build that ark. Right, God told him to, to, to build that ark. It wasn't even raining. It probably didn't have no sign of rain, no clouds in the sky. But he, okay, by faith, he built that ark. Come on now. You know, that takes faith, right? Come on, people of God, amen? That takes faith. Forget about what people think about you. Just, just believe God, amen? Come on now. People may not feel that you are qualified or you are called. Amen. But you know who you are. The, the, the main thing is to know who you are in God. Uh, you know, first, I'm using myself for example. I know I'm a prophet. I know I hear from God. I know that Jesus is real. I know I had an account. I had several encounters with God and no one could take that away from me. Amen. You got to know it. You got to know that your identity is in Christ. 
You got to know who you are. There's going to be people around you. They're like, nah, they're not a prophet. They're not an apostle. They're, they're not a preacher. They, they, they're not God's children. You, you're going to hear all kinds of crazy things. Come on now. That's why you got to get delivered. That's why I profit from people to understand your identity in God. Amen. You got to know. You got to be confident in, in, in who you are in Christ. Amen. To be able to, to walk in, in the things of God. To be able to walk in your purpose and your destiny. You got to know. Amen. Come on now, people. Come on, saints. Who else can I pray for? I just felt like somebody needs to hear that word. Amen. And got off. Yeah, hallelujah. That's why you got to know. Amen. Lord God, I pray right now for a uh, uh, Taga Monet. Lord God, I, I rebuke discouragement off of her in Jesus' name, Lord God. Lord God, I pray right now, Holy, let you have your way, God, in her life. And she's, I come against discouragement. I come against discouragement. God, I thank you, God, and Sheba Thomas will, uh, Lord God, have a safe passage and, Lord God, finish basic training and everything that she is called to do in the military. In Jesus' name, amen, Lord God. Lord God, I thank you. Hallelujah. Lord God, I pray right now for Sherry M M M P yeah, MP, Lord God. Just bless her, Lord God. Amen. You will overcome those addictions. You will overcome it in Jesus' name. Amen. You will over overcome it in Jesus' name. Amen. God, I pray for marriages. Lord God, to be restored in Jesus' name. Amen. Lord God, I thank you. Who else need healing on here? Hallelujah. God, I pray right now for Sharon to get the victory in her court case in Jesus' name. Lord God, I command it to be so. And let me tell you something about legal issues. I I, I met this woman of God, and uh, she had like she's been waiting to go to court for a long time about something. She had 42 cases before her, and I'm testifying because when I talk about it, that means God can do it again. Amen. She had 42 cases before her, court cases. We prayed. And then that Monday, we prayed on that weekend. I think it was like a Saturday night. That Monday, God was able to move her case to the front. Amen. Come on now. Hallelujah. Jesus. That, that's God. Amen. I, I, I command you to get the victory in Jesus. And I decree it so. I, I rebuke procrastination in Jesus' name. Um, I, for your neck, Tim. Tim Keller, I command it to be healed in Jesus' name. I command the stiffness, the pain, to break. And I send forth the fire of God right now. In Jesus' name. And it hurts right here. When I said it's like something tight right there. But I break it off for you in Jesus' name. Lord God, I pray right now for family issues to be resolved in Jesus' name. Amen. I pray right now for people to get a new place to live. Amen. Lord God, we thank you, Lord. We thank you, Jesus. All right. Lord God, uh, let me see who I'm going to pray for. Lord God, I ask you, God, to fill my mouth, God, for the person you want me to prophesy to. Uh, Patricia Allen, uh, um, Adams, I sent forth the fire, God, in that neck. Let me know how that neck feel in Jesus' name. Lord God, I pray right now, Lord God. Uh, to stop the foreclosure of child of days a uh, place in jesus name god i pray for terrific i forgot your name but I, I just pray god that you have your way in their lives in jesus mighty name amen god i pray for uh, samaria god bless her lord god I favor her god lord god i thank you father god that the anointing of increase will rest on her life in jesus name lord god lord god i thank you for the favor god and uh sharice finances in jesus name god lord god i thank you father god hallelujah Lord God, we thank you, Lord Jesus. Yes, Lord, we thank you, God, for uh, Brittany Power to get the answers. God was uh, concerning her work situation in Jesus' name. Amen, God, we thank you, Lord God. Hallelujah, Lord God, we thank you, Lord God. Lord God, and let me just pray corporately. Amen, because a lot of people, y'all saying the same thing, the same prayer request. God, I thank you that wealth and riches will be in our house. Somebody say that. Wealth and riches will be in our house. I curse hemorrhoids at the root. You don't got to be embarrassed. Amen. Amen. We all family here. Amen. We curse him at the root in Jesus name. Wealth and riches will be in our house. If you need advice for Sears, you can sign up for the school of the prophets. My class. Amen. It's a three month teaching class. I'm doing, uh, starts January the fourth or the fifth. Amen. Um, it's three months and it's awesome. So you go to my website. Amen. Somebody on here. I'm trying to go for it, but who Jesus, I start to feel pain all in my body. Amen. Left ear ache. I command attention to break. I feel it on my left shoulder. I, I, I rebuke that in Jesus' name. That's right. The creed in the atmosphere. Somebody say, I will have what I say in Jesus' name. I will have what I say in Jesus' name. Yeah, that's right. I, I command a breakthrough in your singing career in Jesus' name. I pray for Josiah. Lord God, Lord, 
I thank you, Father God, that you increase Kishana, uh, her, her finances, in Jesus' name. Amen. You take care of her, God. The same way you take care of me, Lord God. You take care of the woman of God. Lord God, I rebuke the spirit of Jezebel off this man's wife, in Jesus' name. Lord God, I thank you, Father God. That's why you will have what you say. I, I curse sinus issues at the root, in Jesus' name. Amen. And I start to feel healing. Amen. Just, just at, for people on here, you know, God sent me on an assignment. He said there's some people on here, a lot of people that needs healing. So I'm focused on the area of healing today. Amen. I don't care if it's emotionally, spiritually. Just lay hands on the area. Amen. That you need to be healed at, as an act of faith. Or get up and walk. You know, because I, I feel the anointing in my knees. Amen. Come on, people of God. Amen. That's right. Somebody hurt them. You feel it in your feet. Amen. Receive it. Just receive it. Just, just soak for a minute. Just begin to go into worship. Amen. And we're going to put our requests corporately because there's so many of you guys. Amen. We're going to put it before God. Everything that's bothering you today. Amen. The word of God says, cast all your cares before him. He will never allow the righteous to be shaken. And I feel like as we release this, and this is a prophetic act. Amen. That God will move on our behalf. Whatever's concerning you today. Whether somebody hurt you, we forgive them, God. We bless our haters. We bless our enemies. God, we thank you, God, for blessing us, Lord God, financially, mentally, spiritually. Blessing our lives, favoring us, oh God. We thank you, God, that we walk uprightly with you. We walk circumspectly with God with you. Amen. Lord God, we just put the issues, the matters of the heart, God, before you. Whatever is that, whatever it is, call it out. Amen. Lord God, we just receive and exchange, God, a peace. Receive peace. I pray for peace right now, that you just let it go. I pray for peace right now, that you let it go today. Amen. Just give it all to God. Give it all to him. Amen. He knows what you have need of before you even come ask him. Amen. And, and trust God that he's going to work it out. Trust God. Amen. God is moving. Even if you can't perceive it, he's always moving. Amen. He's always moving. He knows your name. Amen. He knows the number of hairs you have on your head. Amen. He's crazy about you. His thoughts about you are numerous. Then the sands on the, sh the shore of somebody. Amen. Your name is written on the palm of his hand. God bless you, Prophet Market, Mark Marcus. Amen. God is concerned about you. He loves you. Amen. God is going to protect you. God is going to shield you from those demonic attacks. That's one thing I do know. Some of y'all should have been dead and gone. You should have been dead and gone. Fear has no root. Fear has no authority. It's a, it's a trespasser. When you feel fear, and this is somebody that's been delivered from fear, had anxiety for five years, cast it down immediately. Say, nope. You know, Isaiah uh, 26, 3 says, those that keep their mind on Christ Jesus, he will keep them in perfect peace. That's, that stayed on thee. Amen. Hallelujah. Yeah, amen. Don't allow anything to steal your peace. Don't allow anything to, to, to steal the joy of God in your life. Amen. You may not be happy right now. You may be in a situation that's trying to rob your happiness, but you still can have joy. How do I know? Because I did it. I had it. I wasn't happy being on probation. I wasn't happy, you know, being away from my family in Colorado. I wasn't happy, but I had the joy of the Lord. Amen. When I kept my eyes and my, my mind on Christ Jesus, I had hope again. I had a reason to live. I had a reason to, 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 to preach. Amen. Come on, people of God. You know, God, we thank you for joy. Lift hands, people of God. Amen. Just, just give it unto God. God, I come against right now fear, disbelief, heaviness. That breaks in Jesus' name. I come against that. I come against that in Jesus' name. Amen. Lord God, we just make you Savior of our lives. Lord and Savior of our life. God, reign in our lives. Tell God to reign in your heart, in your mind, and in your lives. Amen. God, we want more of you. God, we want more of your presence, God. We want more of you, God. We want more of your presence. God, so tell God that you can't live without him. Tell God that you can't live without him. Amen. That, that you're sorry for, for, for compromising, for, you know, not doing what was required of you. But in this season, you're going to get serious for him. I prophesy that you're going to get on fire for him. 
Amen. That you're going to go all the way with God. All the way. That you're going to become a better you. You're going to become that better person. Amen. That God is calling you to do. That God is mandating you to become. Amen. Come on now. That God, I'm tired of trying things my way, God. I'm tired of God of getting ahead of you. God, I want you to lead me. I want you to guide me. I want you to be able to speak to me, God. I want to hear from you, God, myself. I'm tired of this confusion. I'm tired of this storm. I'm tired of these setbacks. God, I need you to do a work in me. God, I need you for a breakthrough. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Jesus. God, I'm going to say what you tell me to say. I'm not going to no longer hold back. God, I'm going to bring it. Amen. When they call on me to preach this word, I'm going to bring this word. I don't care who don't like it. When they call on me to, to pray, I'm going to pray for them like I'm praying for myself. When somebody asks me to pray for them, I'm going to pray for them like I'm praying for myself. Come on. I know I'm preaching to somebody. I'm coming down somebody's block right now. I know I'm stepping on somebody's toes right now. I'm going to get rid of all the negativity. The people that, you know, don't mean me no good. I'm not going to try to fit in with the crowd when, God, you're setting me apart. You're calling me to be different. Come on now. Forget about blending in. You know, that's God's doing. God set you apart. You know, I, I never fit in, you know, with anyone. So I'm not going to even try. I, I, I gave up a long time ago. I gave up a long time ago. Amen. Forget them. Forget them. Forget their clicks. Amen. Jesus. God will send me where he wants me to be. God will plant me where he wants me to be planted. Amen. I know I'm preaching to somebody on here today. Come on now. Jesus. God, I thank you, Lord God. That I'm sensitive. Come on, people of God. Just, just thank God in advance. Even if you're not where you want to be right now or not where you need to be. Amen. Just thank God. I'm sensitive to your presence. I thank you that I can see in the realm of the spirit. That I speak your words, God, with accuracy and boldness. And I hear, Lord God. I hear from you, Lord. That you're guiding me and you're leading me, God, on a daily basis. That I'm always in the right place at the right time. I bind up the spirit of murder. Everywhere you look, somebody's trying to shoot up something. I rebuke that in Jesus' name. That won't come near our families. That won't come near us in Jesus' name. Amen. We're children of the Most High God. We're going to go out. Amen. We want to go to a restaurant or we want to go shopping. We don't have to worry about a mass shooter. I rebuke that in Jesus' name. Come on now. Come on now. You got to speak. You got to speak. Cover your, cover your family. Cover your vehicle in prayer. Amen. Lord God, we thank you for doing the supernatural, God. Through us. In us. Amen. Using us in the supernatural. Jesus. Somebody on here, right hip pain. I feel pain, like a sharp pain to stab me in my hip. Come on, I only got like two minutes. I got to get off of here. And I send forth the fire of God on that hip. I command pain, pain to break. Amen. If that's you with the, the, the pain in the hips, get up. And just move. Just as an act of faith. Amen. I'm all about activating faith. Amen. It may be impossible with men, but all things are possible with God. Amen. All things are possible with God. I just pray for the church. Amen. I pray for Vinny Vinny's church in Jesus name. What do you risk anyways to go to be present with the Lord? That's right, Tom. That's right, man of God. That's you, Katie. Katie wants the hip pain. I thought the pain left. I think you said it got better. God, I command 100% right now in Jesus name. 100% in Jesus name. Amen. God, we just thank you. Somebody just give God praise. Amen. Even as I pray for your healing today, just receive it by faith. Amen. Uh, some, I feel something stabbing me in my lower back. I command that back pain to break in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Just, just receive it by faith and I command you to grow spiritually. In Jesus' name, the person that said I want to grow spiritually, you will. Amen. I, I encourage you to, to, to invest in yourself. Invest in yourself. You know, uh, if, you, if you like the ministry, if you like the anointing of my life, you believe in anointing of my life. You've been having severe pains in the hip. Be healed, LaWanda Williams, in Jesus' name. You have pain in the, his eye. I command your son to be healed in the eye, in Jesus' name. Invest in yourself spiritually. I got 13 books, people of God. 13 books, you know, out right now. My 14th book will be released uh, this month. Amen. Conquering the Mind, a daily devotional. I got a, a 15 book that's coming out December. It should be coming out by uh, New Year's. Amen. It's called Enhancing the Prophetic in You. All right, on my website, there's free prayers, free resources, free declarations. 
go to my website, KimberlyHargars.com or uh, ProphetessK.org, ProphetessK.org, all right, and uh, go get the prayers, amen, look that up, invest in yourself spiritually, there's so many classes out here you can take, invest in yourself spiritually, yes, I pray that you remember your dreams in Jesus' name, amen, if you want to sow, go, go to, uh, you got the School of the Prophets book, amen, go to my website, you know, I don't care if it's a dollar, I don't care if it's five dollars, you sowing unto God, amen, if you want to sow in the ministry, go to my website, on uh, Periscope, you know, so my profile, just click that link, amen, um, uh, uh, Facebook Live, you know, my website, KimberlyHargress.com, just go there and, and, and sow your faith seed today, amen, I love you, I'm gonna come back, tomorrow we're gonna do, uh, the making of the prophets, I got a word, amen, we're gonna be talking about, if, for those that want some prophetic training, you know, I got tons of training, yeah, Kimberly Hargraves, uh, somebody put my website up there, it's Kimberly, the last name is Hargraves.com, you spelled it right, Let's put that up there. That's that's my name before I got married again. Amen. So, yeah, so I love you guys. Send me your prayer requests. Uh, info uh, at prophetess K. This is the letter K. Dot o -R -G. Amen. I'll be praying for you. God bless you. All right. Talk to y'all soon. Got to go get the babies.